What is up, Kratics? Welcome back to the Gal Perico Heist update. In this video, we're going to be customizing the first drip feed vehicle from the update, the Dinka Vito Classic. It is now officially available December 18th, 2020. It came out at about 4.30 a.m. Eastern Time. So, normal, normally almost $900,000. Right now, it's absolutely free. So, for those of you who don't understand why it's free, <laughs> that's because of the heist challenge that occurred about a month ago. So Rockstar said we will get a free vehicle if the community could complete that challenge, and we did by a substantial margin, and they said that everyone would get that free vehicle, even if you didn't even do the challenge. So even people who had never even logged in during that time, they're also going to get this for free. Now here's the catch. This vehicle is only available for free from December 18th through December 20th. So only the weekend. If you log in after December 20th, it will be back to its normal price on December 21st, 895000 So if you're going to get it, make sure you get it before it goes on sale normally. So I already went ahead and bought it. Here it is. Look at how tiny this thing is. I mean, obviously, it's a go-kart. I parked it next to the F1 car, so you guys can get a, a feel of the size comparison here, the scale of the go-kart. Just absolutely hilarious how tiny this thing is. I got it up closely here. Look at that. Thing is just adorable. <laughs> so, for those of you who don't know, I mean, it's quite obvious. It is based on a go kart, obviously, but specifically a go kart from the 60s and 70s. Go karts back then were super normal, just a steel tube frame, slap the lawnmower engine on the back, <laughs> a few tires and wheels, and that's it. Pretty much a seat, and so it was super simple. Obviously now they're a lot more complicated and they even have electric ones and stuff like that, but it was very, very simple back then. So, it, it is in the sports car class, um, which is kind of funny. Now I did test this before the video, I wanted to see it for myself. This thing is not usable in sports car races for some reason. Um, doesn't matter what kind of sports car race it is, I tried a Rockstar one, I tried a custom one, not available at all kind of interesting there and that's even with me owning it and it, it still didn't let me pick it so my assumption here i think when it officially goes on sale for its normal price on the 21st i think we're gonna get exclusive races where it only lets you pick the go-kart so they're probably going to be called uh, veto races or whatever kind of similar to the open wheel races or the rc races or stuff like that so, let's hop in hot inside there. Well, hop on top. <laughs> you can see the Dinka Vito Classic Sports. <laughs> this thing is hilarious. All right, right on the D-pad to modify. What were you looking for? This thing is so funny. Anything I can do? All right, armor, brakes, engine tunes, definitely. Engine block. Zoom in here. Primary paints an engine? That is funny. Or secondary. Hmm. I think let's go with primary. Might as well. Make it all match. Blonde. Even though secondary I might go secondary black, so it'll look a little better instead of the normal kind of textured black that it has on its stock. We'll paint it Looks primary for now. Exhaust? <laughs> you can barely see it there. Chrome tip, titanium. Painted, then a longer version of that. An angled, the angle looks pretty good. Then straight up. <laughs> That's funny. I like the angled one. The angled, I guess the angled chrome. That's a good one. Just don't run that thing in here. Front shield. Well, that makes it look a lot better. Short, streamlined, the streamlined one. That's nice. Full front. I like the streamline one. Let's do streamline shield. Heel grips. Oh, look at that! Like the floor? That's awesome. So we have chrome, plastic, and secondary. Life is hard when you can have anything. Um, I guess we'll go with plastic, I guess. She's a beauty. Okay, liveries. Have the number six livery with the Dinka. That's awesome. That's so cool. Look at on the back of the seat too. <laughs> that is so cool. Number four. <laughs> that 
That's awesome. We have the white eight. Even though you can barely see it there. Let me change the color here so you can see can the white a little better. With silver. Got an eye for this stuff. Go back to livery. White. There you go. Now you can see it better. Black version of that. Number 43. Wow, oh, there's a lot. There's 13 liveries for this thing. Shopping list. And nice. Number 7. No rush at all. Number 25. I like that one a lot. Number 2. 86. Bunch of liveries. I like how many different numbers there are. You can kind of identify which one's which. I think these definitely will be... Uh, raceable in their own separate races, especially with all these numbered liveries. I mean, it has to be. <laughs> um, I really like the number 25 livery a lot, and it has a 25 on the floor there too. I think on the back of the seat as well. Yeah, that one's, that one's really nice. Alright, let's do that. Pedals. You can change the pedals. Oh, that's hilarious. You can do primary, <laughs> secondary, chrome, dark chrome. Lightweight, look at that, completely different pedals. Whatever Secondary GT pedals, that's awesome. Secondary chrome, and then dark chrome. Wow. Um, <laughs> I think the dark chrome is pretty good, but I also like the chrome. Chrome gives a little bit more. Yeah, let's do the chrome Don't GT pedals. Respray. So, 100%. I wanted to. Paint this thing in red ever since I saw it. Torino red, Your yes. Secondary, I don't even know what the secondary is. Okay, from, from what I can tell, it's nothing unless you actually picked the secondary color options for the other parts we saw. Yep. Yeah. Maybe the steering wheel, first person, maybe? Can't really see the steering wheel in first person, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Alright, I guess we'll paint that Bubbles. black. I think I'm going to have the engine in gloss black. I think that will look a lot better. To match the driver. Trim color is a trim color. Oh, look at that. It's the seat. That's <laughs> that's hilarious. I mean, I don't think I'd paint it in any color other than black, but because I think in white it definitely looks very strange, or tan. I think the stock one is fine. Okay. Steering wheels. We could change the steering wheel. Look at that. Even though you can barely see it. <laughs> Formula cutout. I like the Clubman. That's nice. Perform the professional version. Apex. I like the Clubman. That's a nice one. Let's do that. Is looking good. Turbo tuning. Okay. Wheels. You can't change the wheels? What? Ah, oh, come on, Rockstar. You could have just copied and pasted the F1 wheels and then just made them smaller. That's unfortunate. It comes stock with bulletproof tires already on it. And you can't change the wheels. That's unfortunate. You can't even paint them black or nothing. Life is hard when you can have that's, that's a bit... They should have... They should have... These are basically the F1 wheels. They should have just copied and pasted them, made them smaller. Rockstar really should have done that. That's really unfortunate there and that's it that's all of it there okay well um let me change the engine really quick back to i think secondary black you can think it yeah it looks I a do. lot better even though our our pearlescent that's is transferring to over to the engine which is annoying so we'll go classic go classic torino red You've got an eye and now there we go. The gloss black engine looks a lot better. I like that. Alright. So, let's exit to ground. And our little tiny go-kart. <laughs> oh, man. This thing is so funny. Floored? I'm flooring it right now. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Whoa. That's full speed, single speed transmission, obviously. Well, there is no transmission, it just, it just goes, it's a lot more engine. <laughs> it spins out too, this thing's awesome. So 
But there you go, there's a little bit of like a learning curve to it. You can't just drive it like an F1 car. It has like no traction. Now that I like. If Rockstar does give us races in the future, it's actually going to be pretty competitive. A lot more competitive than you think. It does take a little bit of skill to drive. You can't just... You can't just like... Oh, there you go. Look, if you hit a car, you won't fly off. That's nice. <laughs> this thing... Let me see the... Whoa, let me see the brakes. Very good brakes. Acceleration's really slow, though. Let's do a handbrake launch. <laughs> Wheel spin? <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, the acceleration is very, very slow. That's so cool. We got the gear there, everything spins with the belt. That's awesome. Or a chain. Oh, so cool. <laughs> Little first person. All you see at the top of the steering wheel and your character's feet. <laughs> Her <laughs> shoes. That's so cool. Now does do his, do his feet actually move? No, they don't. Ah, uh, see, they should have done that. On something this detailed, they should have made the character's feet move when you press the gas and when you press the brake. That's awesome. So, in terms of what else we got for, for the people that did the heist challenge, let's go here to the clothes store. Hopefully it's already available. Let's just park this here. Don't well, mind me parking my go-kart out here. <laughs> I think it's so funny. So, supposedly, we also have an exclusive jacket as this lady takes up... Holy Excuse me. So we have an exclusive jacket. So the go-kart's available for everybody. The jacket is only available to people who actually completed a heist finale during that time period when the challenge was happening. Let's go here to special tops, unlocks, let's see, um, so unfortunately I didn't see it in there in the unlock section which was a bit surprising. Um, I did do a, a, a few finales from different heists during that week, so I'm not sure why it didn't register. Maybe it's just a delay to it. Let me know if you guys have a delay as well in the comments if you're not getting the uh, Panther Varsity Jacket that we were supposed to get for helping complete the challenge with the community. Um, kind of weird, but uh, hopefully we get it later on, maybe the next day or something. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video on this little go-kart. This thing is absolutely hilarious. Definitely go claim it. Even if you're not going to use it, I mean, it still costs almost a million dollars. <laughs> so, I mean, it's not cheap at all. And getting it for free is pretty awesome. So, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.